Big one, a really big one, Riley. G'day everyone, it's Rob the Axeman here. Welcome to another episode of Axeman's Fishing Adventures. It is the King's birthday long weekend on the Saturday and we are heading out from Martha's Cove. A few boats out, not too many. We've got Riley here on board, he's sorting out all the rods. And uh, we're going to head out deep first. Going to go have a look. It's a bit wet, a bit miserable, but there's not very much wind, so that's a bonus. Head out deep, have a look for a, uh, a winter snapper or gummy shark. And uh, if we do no good out there, we'll come in close and have a look for some garfish, because we love eating garfish. You've seen a few of the videos of how to fillet them and how to cook them. They're very popular. Delicious fish to eat, underrated. So we're going to go try and see if we can find a couple of those and maybe some squiddies. And then uh, just before sunset we've got a high tide so I think we might head back out again and look for a gummy or a snapper. Let's see how we go. Three meters, nothing on the sounder. Water temperature 14.7. What a rain over there on the coastline, all the way along the peninsula, and uh, not really sunshine, but it's quite nice out here. So we have got our fish candy pillies. We have got some fish candy silver whiting. We have got some small Australian salmon that we've caught previously, and also some small squiddies and a big old dirty mullet and we've got some burley so we're going to get how these get these rods in we're looking for a snapper or a gummy um, there's no tide change or anything we're right in the middle of a tide change it's just the middle of the day and uh, we're out here having a crack so let's see how we go but I've got a very pretty light sinker on there I've got a little bit of Australian salmon with a double snell let's get him out there Nearly 23 metres out here, nothing on the sounder. Just basically come to a spot where we've caught fish before. We'll burly up and sit and wait, give it a couple of hours. If no good, we'll go in close and see if we can find some squid or some gars. We actually, actually have caught garfish out here before, so we might even throw a rod in out here if we get a bit of burly going. I brought some bread. Out. I've got a silver whiting, the fish candy silver whiting, those ones there, and I've got a double snell, I've got one out through the side of the head just above the eye, in the harder part rather than the eye being soft, and one out in the guts, quite often I'll find that the snapper will go for the guts, and uh, so it's not a bad option to have that second hook coming out through the top of the guts there. nibble let's let him take it there's nothing on the sounder so it might be something small but I'm 
Might be the flatty. What do you got on that? Um, half a squid head. Yep, might be a flatty. Same on this one. This is a flatty bite. Wait, no. This is salmon. That's the snack snack of that. So that'll have salmon on it. This has got something on it. Now, parts up. Oh, my bee has got freaking head shake. This could be a gummy. Yeah, you might have to move those other ones. You hit the top button, mate. You have? This could be a seven gill or even. It's tangled up all those rods. This one isn't tangled yet. He's going off to Tasmania. Oh shit! It's going to spool me. That's big, whatever it is. You did say it had its head shape. Oh, I lost it. Came off. Felt it. Wonder if it broke the line. I reckon it was a seven giller. Had a lot of power. When it started to take off, it took off. See if it cut through the line, probably. Took some line. Yeah. Yep, cut through the line. Something with teeth, put it that way. Oh well, it's a start. It's got some weight to it. I don't think it's a snapper, but maybe like a banjo or something. There's no head shakes. Well, maybe. I don't know what it was. It's an unusual bite, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, it wasn't, didn't some, buckle over. It was just some tugs. Just sort of tugging at this Australian salmon fillet. It's got some weight to it. Your banjo. No cully. Oh, what have we got? Something long. It might be a gummy. Oh, yeah. I'll get the net out. That's not a bad gummy. I reckon it's size. I reckon he's size, mate. <laughs> there you go. That's all right. Measure him up, yeah. you're close to size. And he just popped off too. It's pretty fat. Yeah, it is fat. <laughs> hey, settle <laughs> down. Settle down, buddy. Yeah, he's not a bad little gummy. Just measure him up. I think it's 65, isn't it, from the, the last gill. Last gill. To the back of the tail. No, he's not quite big enough. Just, Isn't just what's 45? the size? Might be forty-five. Yeah, it's forty-five. Oh, forty-five. You might be size then. Four sixty-five. It's going to bite me. I can just feel it. Thumbs pretty much the last. I think it's too close. It's too close. I'm gonna let him go. So that's a nice little gummy there. It's just oversized, so I'm gonna put him back. It's not worth keeping it, but we'll put him back in the water and watch him swim off.
the weight to it. Hopefully it's a decent flathead. Got a little bit of trevally strips on this. That's not a bad flathead actually. Close to size. strip which is what do we need 28 29, too close, so I'm going to put him back. Nice little flathead though. There he goes. Okay, so it's a little bit tough out here, the 23 meter mark. We just had the, uh, the one size gummy that we released and something that smoked me, bit the line through, bit of sharper teeth. Um, other than that, a couple of small flathead. So it's blown up a little bit now, it's got a little bit choppier uh, than obviously it was earlier. So we're going to go in close and probably anchor up, cast around for some squid. Riley might try soft plastic for a flatty and um, we'll throw it a gar line but it's it's chopped up a bit now it's um, not as calm as it was but anyway we'll head in close and let's see how we go there Okay, so the weather's come in a little bit nasty. It's been pouring down rain. You can see the rain out there that we've just outrun. And we're over at Sunnyside. I don't think there'll be any nudists on the beach today. It'd be a bit cool. A bit of shrinkage, but anyway. We're over here. We're going to have a crack for some um, squid. Uh, we might put a rod in as well. See, we've caught some, a few different varieties over here previously with salmon and um, goat fish, red mullet, and all sorts of different things. So we might stick a rod down as well. See how we go. So just saw some fish, some uh, birds diving over here. We're hoping that there might be a little bit of a bust up and some salmon or something. And I also just saw a dolphin. We'll look at on the sounder to see if there's any schools. Then we can start to cast at them. And the dolphin's fallen, there's got to be some bait. Oh, right there, what's that? That's a dolphin. seal. Dolphin. Dolphins? That's cool. Start casting. Yep, there's some stuff on the sounder there. Yep, alright. It could even be the dolphin. <laughs> Don't know. Right in front, I just saw a big splash. Got the 
birds working. Here they go, diving in. Get ready, mate, the cast. Dolphin right in front of me. Birds right in front of me too, mate. This is the spot. One under us. There's one there. Dolphin right here in front of us. They're all swimming around it. Get here, they disappear. Yeah, they move off. It's bloody annoying. But they're right here. Yeah. We need to find the school. We need to find them on the sound. I can't see anything now. You see any birds? Oh. Are they okay? The dolphins aren't there for the ride. Here they are, here they are. Right beside, no, right beside the boat. Right in front of the boat. There's nothing on the sound, are they? Oh, big splash over there. They're chasing fish, mate. There they go. Chasing something over there, look. Look at them go. Nothing on the sounder still. Right in front. Oh, it just jumped out the water. Birds are diving right here in front of us, Riley. Yeah. Nothing on the sounder. Oh, they're right out the water over there. It's got to be fish here somewhere. It's got to be salmon. Here go, oh, right in front, dive out the water. Right front. All right, so that was a little bit of fun now over there. We had some dolphins and the birds working and 
jumping out of the water and everything so it was a bit of fun but um, there was no fish underneath them there was no salmon which we were hoping for um, so we're back over at Sunnyside again drifting uh, looking for a squid weather's still a bit ordinary but anyway it's a bit of weed around let's see if we can catch a squiddy got a squiddy Riley boy yep. it's on a blue and green jig blue and green one like a pilchard A little nice little fella. Good one. It's all right. Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Nice little squiddy, good bait size. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one there. Yeah. yeah, like a pilchard pattern. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Thank you. Got one. Finally. <laughs> Woo! Marlin. Yeah, Southern Marlin. Yeah. Way. <laughs> Bit better than the last time we're out. There he is. Nicely hooked. Good size for eating that. And if I've got a couple of videos, you'll see uh, how to cut, how to clean them, and how to cook them. So, but that's a very nice little garfish. And just using, <coughs> who's me, a little, little chunk of this Trevally. We caught out in Western Port last trip. As I said, we didn't have any silverfish or, or maggots. Oh, I'm jumping out there. Yep. Oh, that's a better one. That feels like a good one. Nice. On the gas. Over here at Sunnyside. Oh, and he's gone. Oh. <laughs> he's gone. Yon? Go on. Yeah, good. Jeez. That's not bad. I think we're allowed like 20 each, aren't we? Yeah. Something ridiculous. Nice, that was quick. Oh, I lost him. Go on. <laughs> That's it, it's a little one. That's all right, that's still good. I might be on. Hey, um. They fight well, so it's such a little fish. <laughs> yeah. Nice a little gar. Oh, there he goes. Did he go in? No, right there. That's it. Ooh. Nice one. It's alright. Yep. I think I've 
I, I, I think I had the same bait for about six fish. What? Yeah. How come off. it doesn't come off? Oh, I've got the skin of it. Oh, okay. The skin of the trevally. I think that's why they like it. It looks white. Oh, that's a better one. That's a good one. This one, Riley. Look at this. Get him in. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> nah, it's a bloody. So, what is it? Oh, Snap, pinky. pinky. <laughs> oh, that done that. Pinky on a float. <laughs> Must have been attracted by something. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. Little pinky. Must have smashed it. <laughs> There he goes. Yay! Keep going, keep going, fly away. He's too full of he's too full of fish. <laughs> oh, do you cast it over there? Yeah, all we'll got fish back now. Yeah, I cast it by squidgy over there. Yeah. Under. Under. That's it. Good one. This one. This one. Yep. Little one. Yeah. Hey. Finally. If you haven't had a nibble for a while, you're pretty sure your bait's gone. <laughs> as soon as the corn, whatever that thing leaves is, leaves for a second, the garfish are back. You need to cast your squid jig again, it's come back. Yeah. It's straight back into where the garfish is. No doing he's watching though, because then he'll see it. Are you looking? He's looking. Oh, he's still there. Didn't see. Oh, he's gone. Where's the smaller one? Oh, he swallowed it. For some reason the smaller ones are smaller than the more than the smaller ones. Mm. We've got to fight harder to get a few. Yeah, because they're smaller. Go on. It's a good one. No one? It might be on here. Nothing big. How much do we have each? I uh, don't know, mate. We can have 20 each. Oh, funny. We, don't, we have nowhere near 40. No. That's another little one there. I thought it was 10 each and 20 for all. No, I'm pretty sure it's 20 each, mate. Yeah, Way. Is that this one coming off? No. That one's still going. going? Your one's still on. Ooh. 
You're smashing them. Me? Yeah. Are, are you using the trelly? Yeah. Are you using the skin? A little bit, sometimes. I think it's the skin. It's flashy, but um, it stays on the hook long as well. But I've barely got any skin on there either, really. It's just trevally at the moment. Get another piece of bread. What am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. I think we caught the bigger ones first because we they're did. just getting the food in first. And now we're just probing through the other smaller ones. Now we're just the big ones, the first ones to get to the food, I guess. Uh -huh. There's a piece here, just cut a small bit off that. Oh, I'm gonna drop him. <laughs> oh. <But coughs> hey, he jumped out the water there. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> He's not bad. Still on? Hmm? Yep. This one's a better one. Good one. More bread. That's a good one too. I've always got 20. No you haven't. I reckon I almost have. Well, pull them out and start counting them. I counted all the way up to 11, and then after that, I just stopped counting for like the last 15 minutes. We've got the dolphins yeah. back over here. <laughs> They're chasing the seagulls. <laughs> I wonder if they're chasing our garfish. I'd like to start catching some more, otherwise I'd like to move. There oh, there go. we go. That's a snapper. <laughs> oh, yeah, Feels more like a salmon. No, it is a pinky. It's a better bug. <laughs> On the float. <laughs> He's actually all right. Otherwise I'd have snagged or something. It's the oh, squid rod. It's actually not too bad. I'm on. It's not a bad, not a bad pinky that. If it's size, I'll take it for shashimi. Yeah. Could him on the tiniest little piece of squid leg. I love the squid, don't I? Look, <laughs> that's in his glove. That would be 28. Give me back my squid leg. <laughs> nah, he's not big <laughs> enough. Yeah. See you, buddy. Third third one, so it's not a fluke. <laughs> that was a tiny little bit of trevally on that one. Tiny little size 10 hook. 
<laughs> Say goodbye to our little friend. Pink little pink soft plastic that I recommended <laughs> on the drop so pinky it's, it's a pinky on the soft plastic nice he's all right he's actually all right get him up I'll grab it yes that's a there you go it's nice dark swallowed. red aren't they yeah. on the reef here see yep he's a nice little fish for a soft plastic yep he swallowed it too There you go, nice Beautiful. little pink soft plastic there. Whoa! Hey. Look at that. Yeah, it's a nice little 30 centimeter um, snapper on this pink soft plastic here. Yeah, nice Wrecked one. Wrecked it. Beautiful. <laughs> on that soft plastic again. Yep. They're down there by the same too. <laughs> He's a bit smaller that one, you might be able to lift him up. It's well hooked. Whoa. Good one. Smashed it. He's all right, actually. Not bad. It's actually quite Especially long. Longer than the other ones, yeah. Hmm. He's hooked on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, how's he done that? That's two in a row now on the same two different casts. Yep. Good stuff. All right, we're gonna get this little fella going. Just using that plastic again, three casts and uh, three snapper. This is the third one, it could be size. You got you there, mate? All on this little plastic there. Alright. Yep. How many you caught? Four? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, three and three casts, that's it so far. He is. Oh, no, he's only 26. Put him back. Hang on. Nice little fish there. I'll let that little fella go. Three fish and three casts. Alright, so just cast that little pink soft plastic in. Four casts and four fish. Spr <laughs> four casts, four fish. Yeah. Before it even hit the bottom, looks like I've got another little pinky. It's a nice dark red colour. Beautiful little fish. I'll wind that up a little bit too far, but soft plastics. Little pink one. He woofed it too. He wanted it. Yeah. There he goes. Probably 23. So he's small, but there he goes. Well done. <laughs> I'm not giving it back now. You got to you got go. to sure? Yeah. This was on the garfish rod. On the float. On the float with a little bit of trevally. Yeah, another pinky. Another pinky. That's Needs about six. One. He's yeah. alright. He's okay. <laughs> this is crazy at the moment. Yeah, just released the one that we yeah, caught on the sun, sunset. It's about 4:30. Garfish have gone off the chew, which is a bit of a shame. We've got 21, but it would have liked 40 because they're a good feed. And the little pinkies have come on board on yeah, the gar nice. rods as well as the Plastic. soft plastics, oh, which nice. is all good fun, isn't it? Yep. All right, you're going to let that guy go, mate? Yep, so the gar rod on the float. <laughs> Plastic. It's about number seven or eight. Yeah. Yep, the little pink one smashing it. I just put one of these on. Little cheap crap thing we bought to catch redfin. We never caught anything with it, but giving a few jigs. I have got the burly pot down. There's not much left in it now. 
It's bouncing. Is this still on? Yep. Another pinky. I think you're tangled around my line. I feel it looks a bit better. Good fun, isn't it? Yeah. Smashing it. What do you got there? Nice little snapper. Nice little pinky. Putting him back. Okay, so that's the end of our day. We uh, didn't get any further than Sunnyside over here because we had a fair bit of fun. We got a heap of garfish, as you can see there. Heap of good gars. 21, in fact, that we kept. Nice pinky for some sashimi and a squiddy on the end there as well. And I caught the gummy out, out deep earlier on and something that bit through my line, probably a seven giller. So it's been a pretty good day. You had fun, mate? Yeah, very good fun. Excellent. So until next time, stay safe on the water. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Help me out a bit and uh, we'll see you next time.